What do you make of this uh, committee's report? Uh, do you agree with the decision? Yes, I do. I, I'm so pleased that they've come out with that because I've long thought that the Chamber of the House of Commons is not a suitable place to have babies. This is a workplace first and foremost. So to take children into the chamber where the most important matters are being discussed is just a distraction. And no other workplace would you see it. So why does it have to apply to the House of Commons? Yeah, and, and I agree with that. Uh, obviously, as someone who has uh, had three children and has worked uh, in a legislature, uh, I never thought for a moment that it was an appropriate place to bring them into that chamber, not least because I would have been completely distracted and I wouldn't have been concentrating on the job at hand, Claire. That's the point. <laughs> It is. And, you know, I have a 13 year old and when he was a lot smaller, I did have to take him into uh, the House of Commons to go to work when some childcare fell through at the last minute. Uh, but it wasn't the most productive day that I've ever had. And I am so incredibly grateful that uh, my boss let me do it. But it's not something that you can do long term as an emergency feature. Absolutely, women have to do that. Parents have to do that if necessary. But to make this a part of life in the House of Commons, I think is just wrong. And as I say, there are many, many parents out there in the country just looking at this saying, I can't do this. I cannot take my child into work. Why should these people be any different? Why are we not looking at childcare arrangements for parents? Surely that's got to be a much better debate to have. So those who uh, would support bringing children into the chamber, uh, and Stella Creasy uh, is a perfect example, would argue that we're just reinforcing the impression that Westminster is in a 21st century workplace. That's her argument, Claire. What do you have to say to that? I do think that she's got some point to make. Uh, Westminster is not a normal workplace. It wasn't set up for women. It has changed enormously. And I believe the Procedure Committee's report doesn't state that breastfed babies cannot be taken into the chamber. That is at the discretion of the chair. And that remains so. And there are also other measures put in place. There are proxy voting. Uh, there's an uplift in MPs' uh, expenses for more staff to support them on maternity leave. So I do think that this is a little bit of virtue signalling by Stella Creasy at the moment. Um, it isn't necessary and actually brings the debate about women in the workplace back at least 20, 30 years. And and that can't be a good thing. Yeah, so uh, would you agree with me, uh, Claire, that part of the problem with this whole discussion is that if you're an MP, you should get special privileges, whereas if you're working in Tesco's, well, you have to arrange childcare, and that's, it. that's what you do. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And I don't see why MPs should be any more special than anybody else. We have all had to make sacrifices when we have children. Whether they be right or wrong, you can debate that matter till the cows come home. But MPs should not be treated as some kind of special entity. Yes, we might need to look at working hours. I think that that is, is ripe for discussion at the moment. But to suggest that they have some kind of special privileged status above everybody else is just wrong.